Lesson six, we will be solving multi-step problems involving units ma of mass, length, and capacity. Before we move on, please check out your learning goal and rate yourself. Let me know where you are at the beginning of the lesson. And let's get started. The potatoes Riley bought weighed three kilograms and 420 grams. Her onions weighed 1,050 less than the potatoes. How much did the potatoes and onions weigh together? So we know we have three kilograms and 420 grams. And that is her potatoes. All right? And her onions were 1,050 kilograms less. So we're going to have to take 1,000 50 grams and subtract it here, all right, for her onions because they were less, all right? So let's first convert so that we have um, the same units. So three kilograms, remember, kilogram means a thousand, kilo means a thousand, so 3,420 minus, this is already converted into grams for us. And then we're going to need to do some more grouping. So this is her onions, 2,370 grams. But the question is, how much do the potatoes and onions weigh together? So now I need to take my onion weight and my potato weight and put them together. So my potato weight, after I converted it, was 3,420. My onion weight was 2,370 grams. Now I'm going to put them together because it says weigh together. Zero, nine, seven, five. And that is in grams. If we wanted to convert it to kilograms, we could. Kilo means a thousand, so five kilograms and 790 grams. All right, let's go to the next problem. Emma let out 18 meters and 46 centimeters of string to fly her kite. She then let out 13 meters and 78 centimeters more before reeling back in 590 centimeters. How long was her string after reeling it in? So we started with 18 meters and 46 centimeters. So 18 meters and 46 centimeters. And then she let out 13 meters and 78 centimeters. Okay, so she had she let out this much and this much. So that means we need to add. So let's get like units here. So um, meters, centi means a hundred, right? So we're going to have 100, 1,800 meters because centimeters are smaller, plus 46 to get. 1,846 centimeters, and then again, centi is 100 and they're smaller, so we're going to multiply 13 times 100 plus 78, so we'll get 1,378, and we're in centimeters. We're going to put these numbers together since we converted them, so 8 and 6 is 14, 7, 4, and 1 is 12, 3 and 8 is 11, and 1 more is 12. 1, 1, and 1 is 3. So we have 3,224 centimeters. But the question is, how long was her string after reeling it in? Well, we see that she reeled it in 590. So reeling it back in would mean we need to subtract. And it's already in centimeters, as you can see, so we don't need to convert. So we're going to subtract. Zero from four is four. We cannot take nine from two, so we need to regroup. Five from one we can't do, so we need to regroup. Five from 11 is six. So we have 2,634 centimeters that she has out on her kite. SB's barrel contains six liters and 775 milliliters of paint. She poured one liter and 118 milliliters more. The first day, SB used two liters 
and 200, or sorry, 125 milliliters of paint. At the end of the second day, there were 1,796 milliliters of paint remaining in the barrel. How much paint did SB use on the second day? Oh my goodness. All right, let's start here. So we started with six liters and 775 milliliters. And then she poured in that more. So she poured it in, we need to add. So one liter and 118 milliliters. So she poured that in, so we're adding those two numbers. Let's first convert. I mean, remember, milli means a thousand, and milli is smaller than liters. So we're going to have 6,775 milliliters plus 1,118 milliliters. We add these together. 8 and 5 is 13. 7, 1 and 1 and not, is 9. 7 and 1 is 8. And we have a 7 here. So we have 7,893 milliliters. Right, so now we know how much paint she had. On the first day, she used two liters and 125 milliliters of paint. So if she used it, we need to subtract it from our total. All right, she used, let's see, two liters and 125 milliliters. Two liters, 125 milliliters, and that's day one. All right, so we need to convert this. That would be 2,125 milliliters, because milli means 1,000. So if something's used, you subtract. Five from three, we cannot do, so we have to regroup. Two from eight, we can't, so we're going to subtract. 1 from 8 is 7, 2 from 7 is 5. So after day 1, this is how much she has left. It says at the end of the second day, there were 1,796 milliliters remaining. So we need to know how much paint she used on the second day. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the paint that we had after day 1, Subtract the remaining to see how much was actually used. And it's a different color. So this is your day one paint, what you had left after day one. This is what you had left after day two. And then you can see what she used on day two. Six from eight is two. You cannot do nine from six, so you have to regroup, which would be a 16. Um, nine from that is seven. We have to regroup. Seven from 16 is eight. No, seven from 16 is nine. One from four is three. So she used three thousand nine hundred seventy-two milliliters on of paint on day two. All right, the gas in Wyatt's car has a capacity of 60 liters. He has 23 liters and 825 milliliters gas to the tank, which already has 2,050 milliliters of t in the tank. How much gas can Wyatt, that I should say Wyatt, add to the gas tank? All right, so here, let's do, it has a capacity of 60 liters, so the total, of the tank is 60 liters, right? He adds 23 liters and 825 milliliters. It already had 2,050 milliliters, right? So how much more can he add, all right? So here, let's put these numbers together and then subtract from 60 to see what is missing. So 23 liters, 825 milliliters, converts to 23,825 
milliliters because remember milli means a thousand and milliliters are smaller so your number is going to get bigger right plus what he already had in his gas tank so we're going to add them together because he already had it so we're putting more in now the question is how much more can he put into his tank well his total is 60 right 60 liters remember working in milliliters milli means a thousand so that's equal to 60,000 milliliters if you subtract the milliliters he already has then you can find out how much space he has left we're going to have to do a lot of rubing here right we're group across zeros five from ten is five seven from nine is two eight from nine is one five from nine is four two from five is three so thirty four thousand one hundred twenty five milliliters now we could convert this to liters as well this would be 34 liters because milli means a thousand 125 milliliters all right and that is how much space he has left for his gas tank all right a giraffe is five meters and 20 centimeters tall an elephant is one meter and 77 centimeters shorter than the giraffe a rhinosaurus is one meter and 58 centimeters shorter than the elephant how tall is the rhinoceros so i know the giraffe is the tallest right and the giraffe is greater than the elephant which is greater than the rhino okay so i'm going to start with the giraffe and then I'm going to subtract to get the elephant, then I'm going to subtract to get the rhinoceros, right? So 5 meters, 20 centimeters, right? And then I'm going to subtract 1 meter and 77 centimeters because that's what I need to find out how tall the elephant is. Now we need to convert. Remember, centi means 100, so we have 520 centimeters. Centi means 100, so 177 centimeters. Now I can subtract to find out how big or tall the elephant is. I need to regroup. 7 from 11 is 4. 1 from 4 is 3, so we have centimeters here. So the elephant is 343 centimeters. All right? And then the rhinoceros is 1 meter and 58 centimeters shorter than the elephant. Well, my elephant is 343 centimeters. And then my rhinoceros, I'm going to scroll back up, is 1 meter and 58 centimeters. Meter 58 centimeters, which I need to convert into 1 meter and 58 centimeters so I can subtract I cannot do 8 from 3 so I need to regroup this is a 5 I can't do 5 from 3 so I need to regroup 8 and 1 so the rhinoceros is 185 centimeters tall all right for homework you have an attached worksheet um it says lesson 5 on it go ahead and do that tonight and I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you rate yourself. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I'll see you later.